first, I'd, I'd like to thank Dr. Campisi. It's, it's been a pleasure to work with him for the last 20 or so years in administrative ways and clinical ways and, and bringing the kidney transplant program forward. I'd also like to thank the UKRO family, Ken Kleinberg, and, and Louis Kleinberg also produced a very nice video. You know, I think um, from the standpoint of the kidney transplant program, it, it's got a long history. It extends way back beyond where I even know for sure what happened. I saw Robert Mendez in the back there, and I want to acknowledge him because he really brought... He was one of the first pioneers in Los Angeles to really recognize the value of kidney transplantation. He and his brother and Tom Byrne started the initial program at Los Angeles County Hospital of all places. And then when the building became in disrepair and there wasn't a new university hospital yet, it was moved mostly to St. Vincent's, but as soon as the university hospital opened up, he put part of it at the university hospital. So it was really with that framework that the, that the current program exists. And it's been, it's been 15 or 20 years worth of building. And, you know, it's, it's a brick by brick effort. And I could, I'd like to chronicle for just a moment the important people that help put all that together because it's, it, it has not been easy for any of them. So just w when I came, it was 1995. The hospital had about 50 patients. Um, we, at that point, we didn't really have a physical structure for the kidney program or any on-site coordinators. My, one of my first recruits was Dr. Yuri Genick, who who came and he knew how to do laparoscopic nephrectomies, which means taking out the kidney with the laparoscope. He knew how to do pancreas transplantation, living donor livers. I think he played every instrument in the band. He was, he was quite a talent and still is. Um, and then shortly after Dr. Ginnick came, Dr. Linda Scher was recruited over from St. Vincent's as a transplant surgeon, but she also had the added wonderful skill of being an excellent clinical researcher. So that, that and, and that's, you know, it's, it's one thing to say, let's do some research. It's, it's like saying, you know, let's plan for the Olympics. So, so being a clinical researcher is not an easy task. It's, it's highly nuanced. It's, it's very heavily laden with accounting. There's a lot of regulatory. And so to be able to have a resource like Dr. Scher to put together pharmaceutical studies with the, with the sponsoring companies and multicenter trials and ultimately investigator-initiated studies has been part of that holy grail of teaching, patient care, and research. Then, shortly following Dr. Scher's recruitment, Dr. Kazi came, and you know, as you kind of inferred from the video, transplant kid, kidney transplant programs are su successful based on how much effort you put into it. It's really, it's really a very gray marginal area. You saw the Organ Procurement Agency director talking about how aggressive USC was. Well, in spite of that aggressiveness, Dr. Kazi and his team have really been able to put it together with excellent outcomes according to national data tracking statistics. So, so even though he's playing on the margin and, and there's some gamble, he's balancing his risk and he's really, it's really from his, his time when he came that the program really started to sprout wings and grow. And when it started to grow, then we got new physical space, we got coordinators, nurse practitioners, we had quality people, social workers, pharmacists, dietitians, a lot of ancillary staff, and we started to add new faculty. Dr. Shidban came over from Dr. Mendez's group, and he's been one of the anchors for the program. Dr. Alex Sopolis was recruited in 2009 from Stanford. He now runs the kidney program. He and Lee Matsuoka, who was recruited in 2010, also do the pediatric program at Children's Los Angeles. Dr. Kieran Danaretti does the kidney pancreas transplant program. So, so there's been just a flurry of recruitment to help build this effort. Most recently, we hired into the division a stem cell biologist in an effort to try and make it so that research is a major component of what we're doing. So if you do the calculus for what this program really stands for right now, it's a, it's a, it's a very well-rounded program. It does, it does 
cadaveric kidneys. It does living-related kidneys. It does it with a laparoscope or the robot. It does kidney pancreas. It does liver kidney, and it does pediatric kidney. So it does it all, and it does it in high volumes. And most of that, the, the patient flow is attributed to Dr. Kazi and his team. Getting the patients through the surgery is, a, is attributable to the surgeons, and the statistics are great on both sides of that. So it, it really has been a, a, really a building of a Trojan horse. This is the kidney transplant program. It's, it's probably 80 or 100 people strong at this point. It's a force to be reckoned with. We're delighted to be able to be paired with the UKRO because the next high-hanging fruit from the tree is really going to be steps to try and induce tolerance. In other words, um, a situation where the patients wouldn't have to take immune suppression medications. So the induction of tolerance is, is the next big step for this program now that it's a well-rounded clinical program with, with, with good patient care, good teaching, fellowship programs. And I think that, that this program is probably one of the best situated in the country to mitigate um, against kidney disease with successful transplantation. Thank you. Uh, I just want to thank my transplant team. If anybody who's with our kidney transplant team wouldn't mind standing up, I really want to give a round of applause to them. There are two people that are really critical to our program. Unfortunately, they're not here. Dr. Sophocles Alexopoulos. Uh, he's a very talented surgeon, and Dr. Smogorjewski, who many of you know, we call him Dr. Smog. Many times when I'm in a difficult situation and I want to run things by him, I call it the smog check. So unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately he's not here today. Um, and I want to say thanks to my kids. Now you guys know when I say zip it, I have a kidney offer. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you. <laughs>